the berries are all in good clean conditions. At Willamette Valley Vineyards in Turner. Everything is very clean. The smoky air is certainly top of mind. Which is why these days most of the operations are happening inside. As crews run the bottling line and clean out the cellars, winemakers assess the quality of the fruit. Here we have Maddie, who's actually has taken samples from the vineyard of our Pinot Gris and Chardonnay. The smoke has proved a bit of a challenge for the vineyard, but folks here say they're lucky. We don't foresee any significant impact. Because they know their friends down south were not. No, we lost everything. Brian Denner and Clea Arthur lost their winery and all their grapes when the Alameda fire swept through talent last week. And it was worse than I could have ever imagined because um, honestly it was 10 minutes later we were frantically evacuating with our neighbors and our tenants who live in a house. People were just running for their lives literally and just leaving stuff behind. This is all that's left of Simple Machine Winery. You can just see piles of metal rings and just um, exploded bottles. And, and much of the town. It's just ashes and foundations and it's it's not one or two, it's, it's blocks and blocks and miles of homes. They thought all was lost until fellow wine growers near and far started donating space, equipment, and lots of grapes. And then within, you know, 48 hours, we're like, okay, we're going to make wine this year. Providing fruit to a friend is something we can do and allows them to keep going. Willamette Valley Vineyards, is one of them. So we're planning on uh, donating a ton of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. That's equivalent to 130 cases of wine that people are already pre-purchasing on the winery's website, giving this small and simple machine a chance to rebuild and grow again. This whole process, it's, it's, it's obviously tragic, but it, it's also brought together the community in, in a way that's that's really, really inspiring. With their help, you know, we're, uh, we're on the path to in Turner, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.